Somebody once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed. Guys, as you can tell with the title and the top I'm wearing today, I'm gonna be turning myself into Shrek. Not just because I want to, but because I've got like a party, a costume party, which is why something inside me told me to go with Shrek. If anyone out there is looking to go with Shrek to a party, then I've got you. Before I start, this is what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this choker from Zara. This top, which I love, which has like the mouth and everything, but the mouth is tucked in, um, which my friend Dylan got me. Thanks Dylan. And then just like this uh, thrifted charity shop belt, which I love. And then these Wrangler beige corduroy trousers, which are literally massive on me. And like, it makes me look a bit strange but yeah they're huge obviously so yeah um let's turn myself into shrek so firstly i'm just gonna like prep my skin for everything so i'm gonna be taking the aveda botanical kinetics toning mist and just giving my face a little spray and then while that dries off i thought it was only apt to also use this shrek lip balm which my friend Dylan, who got me this top, also got me. This is actually really good, surprisingly. It's chapstick, like the brand chapstick, and it's apple flavour, and it's so nice. Like, it's amazing. And then, I'm gonna use my Nivea Light Moisturising Day Cream. I'm just gonna use that to moisturise my skin. Um, if you've watched my skincare favourites, I'll like link that down below. Um, I mentioned this, I also mentioned the Tone and Mist and the links where you can get them, so... Yeah, go buy them guys. So now onto eye makeup. I'm firstly gonna just prime my lids with the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age The Eraser Eye Perfect and Cover, Perfect and Cover Concealer in the shade Light. Um, and I'm just gonna be putting this all over my eyelid to hide my hanging little veins. When I've done that, I'm just going to be taking my Beauty Blender and just blending that out. By the way, I know I'm gonna get like a comment someone's gonna notice it so i'm just gonna put it out there now i am recovering from a very dark spray tan if you can't tell my neck is very patchy right now which is why um i look a bit like a dorito please forgive me then i'm just gonna be taking my laura mercier translucent setting powder then i'm just gonna be taking my laura mercier translucent setting powder and just setting my concealer with that i'm just gonna be tapping some of that into the lid and then just taking this brush by e tools no ion beauty i think it's called yeah ion beauty and just like set in my eyeballs with that it's very important that you set your uh, primer so first thing i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take this shade sunrise in the Too faced tf no filter selfie powders um and i've used this as a powder but i just want to kind of do it so there's some sort of like yellowness you get me? I don't I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, I'm just gonna be taking this MAC fluffy brush um, just to kind of set the tone then, I suppose. To the eyeshadow. Ooh, I kinda like that actually. It's quite cool. I really wanted like a, a very bright yellow, like a a yellow eyeshadow. I don't have any yellow eyeshadow. Like all the yellows I use are literally like face powders. If you know of any like good yellow eyeshadows, please let me know. So I've changed the lighting, by the way, that's why I look more orange, yellow now, because it was getting very white. Um, I don't really know what colours to mix with green, I never do green. So I'm just going to take this colour, which is called Grasshopper, in my Vice 4 palette, and just put that on my lid for now, and just see what happens, and, like, go with it. Also, I've only done green eyeshadow once in my life, and, like, it really didn't look nice on me. So I'm hoping that, like something changes. I'm just gonna pat this over my lid and then just blend it out like I know that looks really bad right now but we're gonna blend it away. So yeah I'm just start to blend that out. I'm gonna dip it in the green actually and it might help. I like broken my my blender brush because I like wiped it in a wet wipe to like clean it quickly and now I've made a mess. Okay so I'm quite happy with the blend to be honest like it blended out all right considering it's like insanely green. I'm going to be taking my Urban Decay Shadow Box, that's what it's called, Urban Decay Shadow Box, and taking the colour Indo and just putting that in the outer corners of my eye. So I'm just going to like pat it inwards a bit. I don't want to go like 
too much just in case I like mess it up, do you know what I mean? Like, I don't do green, I don't know what to do with myself. I accidentally got it under my eye and now I look like I've got a black eye. I'm thinking of putting glitter in this some way, but I don't know how. I'm gonna maybe try and put some like holographic glitter on. I found this little Smashbox trio thing called Shutter Speed and I'm gonna take the shade Thunder at the bottom and try and put that on. Ah, oh, like that. This is um, a Mac 2-3... I can't read. It's a Mac something. Oh my god, that's dark. I've just put that on I'm just gonna take this brush because this brush solves all my problems um, and then just blend that in with the brush. So I've done kind of my eyeshadow look, I think. I'm gonna now do some eyeliner. So I'm just gonna take my Super Cat, oh, Super Cat liner by Soap and Glory. And this is like the thin one because I know you can get a thick one and I don't do that. So I've done my, I've done my eyeliner and the next thing I'm gonna do is prime my skin because I'm gonna do my face makeup. So I am gonna take my Chanel Le Blanc de Chanel base I don't know what it's called, I can't pronounce it, but yeah. Just put that all over my face. You guys wanna see like an uh, eyeliner tutorial? Then please let me know because like I never film them because I always take ages doing my eyeliner because I do loads of little steps and stuff like correcting it and that. Um, but if you guys wanna see it, then let me know. I'll figure out how I can angle my camera to film it. Now that's done, I'm just gonna be taking my Kiko uh, concealer in the shade 02. I'm be taking this brush, which is like an oval brush, but I don't actually know the. I think they're called Rio. Like I think that's the name of the brush brand. My friend Ebony got me these. Shout out Ebony. Could put these on like my spots. My skin has like cleared up so much lately as well. I don't know what I've done to it, so I'm quite chuffed with that. Um, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my foundation on. Um, today I'm gonna be using the Estee Lauder Double Wear in the shade 1N2. Um, and I'll just put this all over my face and blend it out with my beauty blender. Let me take in the Maybelline concealer thing I used earlier and just draw in some triangles under my eye, you know, just to cancel out bags. And I'm also gonna like bring it across, like not across, down my nose, on my chin, above my lip, and like some here because I'm gonna be using some green here, so I want to be it to be a bit more defined and I'm just gonna blend this out with my beauty blender. Um, now I'm just gonna be taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder um, and taking this little, oh there's a hair on it, taking this wedge and just baking like under my eye and also like the other places I've put the concealer if you get me, just to make those like more defined and that. Now I've done that I'm just gonna take the rest of what was on the pan and just like do the rest of my face I guess. Just pan it on. I prefer to pat it on because I like when I swirl it on the foundation tends to get messed up if you know what I mean. Also like I'm gonna just brush off the bake on my forehead and stuff because I don't want it to be like too cakey there. And next I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. So the first thing I'm gonna do with my eyebrows is just like brush them upwards with this spoolie. I'm just gonna be taking my next eyebrow gel and just to fill my brows in so I'll be back once I've done that. So my eyebrows quite dark because he's like got black eyebrows so you know I just thought I'd look a bit like Shrek. Um, and then I'm just taking this Ico brow gel and just like I don't know how to describe what you do with brow gel. Just I go from the edges and then whip them in because I don't want like clumpy bits to get to um, the front of the brow. Um, and then I'm just gonna wipe away my bake and get all my contour in. Yeah, I need to do the rest of my eyes. So I'm gonna take a different shade of green now. I'm gonna, should I do green? Or should I do brown? I might do brown actually, play it safe. I'm gonna do brown. Um, I'm just gonna take this eyeshadow by Calvin Klein, which is very, very broken. It's in the shade Sunbathe. And I'm going to take this brush, which is the one I use actually for the um, outsides of my eye, and just like brush this underneath. I like this because it, it adds a bit of warmth, like I can't not have any warmth, you know what I mean? I have discovered that I shouldn't have used that brush because now I've got eyeshadow everywhere. I said I was going to put some glitter in, so I am. I'm going to take this one by Light Chick, so I can't remember the shade of this, but if you look on the Light Chick, so website, it's on there. I'm gonna spray this brush with my Gerard Cosmetics spray all, not spray all day, slay all day um, 
satin spray and then put that into the lid because like there's so much on the lid because I put my glitters upside down so I'd have to tip them upside down and stuff when I get them and I'm just gonna like put this in like the inner corner of my eye I love this oh my god oh it's so beautiful and just do the same to the other so now I have done my glitter I'm just gonna put my mascara on with my Too Faced Better Than Sex little mini one because my big ones run out which is gutting but this will do I also find it's quite handy to have like sample sizes of mascara because it's easier to use I guess I'm just gonna take my Makeup Geek uh, uh, contour palette and it's in the shade Break Breakup and just contour as usual this mini hula brush and I'm gonna take this color right here which is the shade Arctic and go over it oh my god <gasps> I'm gonna take my big brush and try and blend it out. Come to think of it, it's not that bad actually. Like, I can do with that. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bronze with green. I'm gonna take the same colour as I used before, which was Grasshopper, and attempt to do this. Let's go. I can't see it. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, no, this is working. It's okay. So, like, I'm, I'm alright. I think this is okay. So, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this MAC Lightscapade and just like kind of um, clean it up I guess. I'm gonna take my Light Check Seal Highlighter in the shade Halo and just highlight my face. Also when my camera died I just put a bit of um, matte rosy outlook. I put a bit of that on like a little bit of blush just to you know make me look like I have some colour other than green to my face. And the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this Kylie Jenner matte liquid lipstick in the shade Moon and do my lips. Um, I was looking for a brown and this is like the brownest I got so this will have to do. If anyone knows of good, any good like dark brown liquid lipsticks please let me know because I'm looking for one. Then to finish off I am just going to spray my face with MAC Fix Plus. Um, oh no. Um, forget that. I'm going to spray my face with my lavender Gerard Cosmetics slay all day. I need to get another MAC Fix Plus. I love the smell of this, it's amazing. So here's the finished look. Um, if you enjoyed, if you've related, please like this video, please subscribe, please comment down below. I'm sorry for whatever happened here. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed and hopefully see you all soon, bye bye!